Okay, so on to the next step. I'm going to put a fan in the roof. What I've decided to do is uh, put this fan in here so we'll get some good ventilation. Now, I've taken the headliner. It's in two pieces. So I was able to leave the front on and take the rear off. And so I figured out how to do that. That right there is a light. Uh, and so right behind that, there's actually a, a place on the roof that looks like it was made for this very application. So now I'm going to um, go up there and uh, cut a hole in the roof. Let me show you what I did first. Since I had some scrap wood and to make it easier, I went in and I made a frame that is a 14 inch frame because you need a hole 14 by 14. So this way I can just take this up there, put it where I like it, trace it out, and then I'll be done. Instead of, uh, and then it will be square and everything will be good. So that's what I'm going to do go up on the roof here and get this set up to uh, cut a hole in the roof. Alright, see how they discontinued the ribs for this one section? There's the, uh, the front end and you come running down here and it's a perfect location because it's in between the two um, support ribs that run on either side inside the van. So I made my 14 by 14 template just to check it out there and that's pretty much where it's going to go so what I'm going to do is trace it out uh, drill four corner holes get the jigsaw with a metal cutting blade and cut that out I'm going to make sure that I put a tarp down inside to catch all the metal filings so I don't have to uh, clean them up later alright let me get going Okay, that was really easy to do it that way. Now I have a nice um, place to work on uh, that I can see really well. So I have that all marked out. Now I'm going to start drilling and uh, cutting. I just wanted to show you what I did. I went and uh, drilled eighth inch pilot holes first. That way the uh, drill bit won't drift when you go for the bigger hole. Then I used a three eighths drill bit. So I'm going to go around and finish that up. But that helps a lot if you drill a pilot hole first. Okay, I have the holes drilled and now I'm going to give it a quick vacuum because I don't want any of that stuff to uh, fall inside and I don't want it scratching up the van as I'm scraping around with the jigsaw. <laughs> Alright, so there's the hole and cut nice and square, looking good. In hindsight, um, what I probably would have done, you can see the little scratches right there. I would have uh, put down a little blue masking tape on the body of the van to prevent that. Uh, because what happened was well, the chips got stuck underneath the jigsaw and so it scratched it up. Most of that will be covered with the uh, Max Air fan but uh, just a little something that I should have done and you can do and not have that problem uh oh looks like we got a little sunshine coming through onto the floor and there is the hole in the roof all right let me proceed okay I took the fan and I did a test fit on it now what I'm going to do is, by the way, it fit perfect. Now what I'm going to do is put the uh, butyl uh, tape on there that will seal it. So it's got to cover the screw holes. You can see them all along there. And this is the kind that I elected to go for. Let's see, here it is, right here. And so you can see I just took it and laid it out all the way around put it all on the fan, make sure it's covering the, um, the screw holes. Now those are some other screw holes over there for some other application. I won't be using those. 
and so I have to still put another piece down here. Let me get going. Okay, well I have the whole thing installed on the exterior. What I did was uh, I pre-drilled the holes all the way around and then I put the screws in and um, I had the uh, tape on there that sealed it and after that I came and put a self-leveling caulking on there that's an exterior grade and you see how it just flattens out nicely on there and then I put a dab on each screw so there's really no way that that's going to leak by my installation uh, the only problem would be if it's going to leak is uh, through the fan itself okay this max air fan comes with a remote control we'll turn it on it reads the temperature and it, you can set the temperature and you can adjust the speed and you can open and close it. It also has a sensor that if it starts to rain that it will automatically pick that up and close the fan. So let's see here. I'll show you how this operates. Okay here we go. We're going to uh, start the unit up here and uh, you'll be able to see how this uh, opens up here automatically. There goes the uh, vent opening. The fan is starting up. I have it on low speed. That little uh, yellow thing on the right side there, that is the rain sensor in case it starts to rain. And then it will automatically shut down. Let's go inside and have a look. Okay, so there it is running. You have your little area right there that is your control panel if you don't want to use a remote control you have the black handle that is a handle for um, that opens and closes so if you in the event that you lose power you can manually close it you have a let's see if you can see that bug screen on there the fan is reversible and it goes uh, so you can pull air in or you can exhaust the air you have to have the window open uh, when you're doing that because otherwise you'll cause a vacuum in here and because the thing really pulls a lot of uh, air you have variable speeds we'll turn the speed up a little bit and we're, we're really right now at uh, 50 percent so let's try to move it up 60 percent 70 80 90 and there's 100 percent so down at the 50, it's uh, it's pretty um, it's pretty quiet. Actually, it's pretty quiet at this rate too. So let's turn it back down a little bit. Another thing that's nice is you have the option that um, when you are uh, having rain outside, you can close the uh, vent cover and you can turn the fan on and just circulate a little bit of air. So you got some air moving. So what we'll do here is we will go ahead and shut her down now and you'll see how that operates. So when I turn it off, the vent is starting to close. See the little knob turning? The fan is shutting down and the door is closing and there you have it. So I'm very happy with this unit. It's going to be great and this is all running off of 12 volt but it's running off the solar system that I've installed. But uh, it's turned out really well. I'm happy with it. And um, now I just have to uh, hook up the power and put the interior trim on there. So this has been a successful job. Homestead Handyman out. Let's see if we can get it to automatically open here when I hit the remote.